Good afternoon, third grade online learners. Welcome to another week of science. I hope you're all doing well. And uh, this week we are learning about classifying vertebrates. And remember, a vertebrate is any creature or animal that has a backbone. Uh, and we learned in, I believe, one of the other science classes that 99 out of 100 creatures on Earth do not have a backbone. Yet, the ones that I can think of off the top of my head do. Humans, dogs, cats, uh, rabbits, just about anything you think of. But something without a backbone could be something as simple as a worm. But 99 out of 100 creatures on Earth do not have backbones. We are just reading from the text today, pages A36 to A43. That's quite a few pages, though, so if it takes you a day or two to read them, uh, that, that's fine. Take your time. Make sure you understand all the terms. On the last page, uh, A43, there's some questions, five of them, a visual summary, and some challenging questions right under the visual summary if you want to try those. Uh, so our vocabulary for this week are uh, backbone, a series of bones that runs down the back of some animals, vertebrate, any animal with a backbone, Mammal, an animal that has hair or fur and produces milk for its young. Bird, a vertebrate that has feathers, lungs, wings, and two legs. Fish, vertebrates that live in the water. So we talked about this a little bit last week, and some people said, well, fish don't have bones. They do. Uh, I don't believe a jellyfish does, but most fish have bones. Maybe by the time you... Um, eat some fish at home they've taken the bones out but fish fish do have bones they are vertebrates <clears throat> amphibian a vertebrate that starts life in the water and then lives on land as an adult off the top of my head what comes to my mind is a tadpole spends most of its life in the water at least half or the beginning stages anyway I should say and then uh, it turns into a frog or a toad and lives on land it can still go in the water, but uh, it goes from being able to stand or water continuously till now it can just hold its breath. And, and once it's a frog or toad, it can actually drown. So it's kind of ironic that you live your whole life in one environment and, and then it changes so dramatically it could be dangerous to you. Reptile, a reptile that has dry, scaly skin and lays eggs on land. Um, top of my head, I, I think of a lizard um, that, that comes to mind. Animals, main idea is animals can be classified into groups depending on whether or not they have a backbone. So vertebrate or invertebrate. We'll learn about those next week. Invertebrate do not have backbones. Excuse me. Frogs are amphibians. Owls are birds. Um, this, it sounds pretty basic and, and Maybe you think you already knew that, but uh, you might see that again on the quiz, so uh, don't be fooled by that. Lizards are reptiles. Horses are mammals. Now, there's other types of reptiles and mammals, other types of birds and amphibians, but those are the ones you want to be aware of for the quiz, the one, ones that I just mentioned. Uh, so, again, if you're doing your website summaries tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, and your website of the day is not working, Feel free to Google the topic of classifying vertebrates and substitute your own website or if you find something more interesting. Try to get the three sentences. I know with third grade that, that's tough, a three sentence summary. Uh, we're still learning how to type, I understand that. But um, you know, the more you can write, the, the more meaningful it will be to you and hopefully you'll, you'll be really interested in this topic. Um, it's a really neat topic to learn about all the different creatures on Earth. I was just watching TV last night, and there was a series made by a man named David Attenborough, and uh, I'll have to find the title of it, but I believe it's on Netflix, maybe, and he goes all, six or seven point uh, part series, and he goes all over the earth studying different types of animals, and it's really neat. If you have a really good television, it's amazing the photography they have. So uh, once I find that title, I'll share it with you, but it, it would really complement our lesson. All right, uh, 
have a good week and uh, we'll see you tomorrow to uh, maybe do a review or a brief uh, overlook of the websites. Goodbye.